wonder how many people would be different today if Christianity touched them. You see, so many people turn away from it because they don't experience love. You never know who the person you are mistreating might become. You see, if we don't show them love, if we don't show them Jesus, they might just bring chaos to this world. In further news, Mr. Lucas Hunt's motion to dismiss Christianity from all public platforms and institutions has caused a great uproar within the community. Although certain parties have challenged this motion, Mr. Hunt's party has gained immense support around the country. Mr. Hunt stated that Christianity is a religion that aims to mislead its people into supporting unworthy causes and that Christian leaders are abusing their authority for financial gain. Mr. Hans further stated that he would do whatever is necessary to stop the churches from spreading their ideologies within the community. Oh, it's almost yeah. Thank you, love. You're welcome. Listen, I'm sorry. That's what they I think it's about time you started doing the cooking, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just give it a rest, okay? Guys, thank you so much for coming, okay? Thank you guys and have a fantastic week. All right. Awesome. Come Thanks, Pastor. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. You too. Man. I'll see you next week. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye. Okay. Bye, guys. Cheers, guys. Okay, I'm just going to... I don't know why I'm going to... Okay. Excuse me, Pastor. Um, would you would you mind praying for my husband? He uh, doesn't believe that any of this is true, and uh, he thinks it's nonsense, and that I'm lying, and he doesn't allow our children to come to church. He's, uh, yeah, he's just so um, misled, and I don't know what to do anymore. Yes, ma'am. Let's pray. Thank you. 
Father, I thank you for this woman. Yes, Lord. I pray that you would bring a new revelation to her husband. Yes. Father, I pray that you will give her boldness to speak to him and that your spirit will reveal the truth to him. Father, open his eyes and open his heart. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. We've got him. Yeah, I'll make sure he's kept tight and until you arrive. Yeah, I could give him a bit of a warm welcome. Mason. Yeah. Take a little break. Have some um, alone time with Mr. Allen. Sure, no problem. Sweet. What do we have here? Nice lunch. Well, 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 Mr. Allen, the evangelist. <laughs> Where is your Jesus now, huh? Trust me, this is just the beginning. And by the end of all of this, You'll be singing a different tune. Nice of you. I'm gonna catch you now, so uh, keep it quiet in there. Jesus loves little children, all the children of the world, black and yellow, red and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Riley, where did you learn that song? We learned it at school from the man on stage who came to talk about Jesus. Don't mention that name. And don't sing that song, sweetie. It's nothing but lies. But daddy... Don't. No child of mine will be raised like that. Understood? Come on, girls. Quickly, get in the car. Jump, 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 jump. Catherine. You're making a big mistake. You're wrong about this, Luke. I really do hope that you see the truth one day.
God is for us. And who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered deliver him up for all of us. How shall he not in him also freely give all things to us? Oh. Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? Christ Jesus is the one who died, furthermore is also risen, and stands at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As, As it is written, written for your, your sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. The one who is to live. You hear me? Listen, what's going on here? Is there some kind of joke? Eat! It's good enough you have something to eat. I get instructions from the top. I do what I need to do. You hear me? Just tell me what his problem is. Whose problem? The guy who's giving you these orders. I mean, I don't understand what's going on here. I don't even know you. Legend is one of your people, got a little bit uptight and personal, with the past when he was a kid. Who would have thought? My son! Get him! Stop! Stop! Mr. Allen, I don't believe we've formally met. I'm Lucas Hunt. Well, you may not know who I know I am. exactly who you are. Oh. Well, Michael, Michael, Michael. You're like a fish that just can't stop swimming in the wrong direction. So misled, you keep eating all the bait you get fed. Well, I don't mean to pry, but it looks like it's gotten you into a pretty sticky situation. No matter, you can get yourself out of it pretty easily. All you have to do is stop playing 
your silly Christian games and join my cause. We'll treat you like royalty. I promise. Anything you want, name it. It's yours. What makes you think I want anything from you? I didn't think so. You're a man of honor and integrity. And I respect that. Luckily, I brought a little contingency to help you make this decision. Jamie! Don't you Jamie! just love reunions? You must be ecstatic. So, in order for us to continue playing this game, you're going to have to make a little decision. Isn't that ironic? You Christians are always going on about making decisions and free will. Well, here we are. You have free will and one decision to make. Shall we play a little game? No! <laughs> No! Calm down, Michael. All you need is a little intelligence. It's easy, I'll tell you. All you have to do is choose. Either your lovely wife, Jamie, giving you freedom and a royal seat on my movement. Or you can choose God and hope that he cares for Jamie when she pops up there in a few minutes. So what'll it be? Jamie or Jesus? Michael, you know what to do. Do the right thing. Shut her up. Leave her alone. Listen, I'm sorry for what you've been through. I'm sorry about your past or what someone else did to you, but please. How does all of that lead to this? I mean, what have we ever done to you? Interesting question, Michael. Not only is this the first step into showing the world that we mean business, but if it wasn't for your revival meetings, my wife wouldn't have believed your lies my children wouldn't be singing about Jesus and we might all still be together. But no, you had to continue preaching the myth that is Jesus. As if everybody needs somebody to save them! So it's personal too. I'm sorry you can't see the truth. And I'm sorry you had to go through all of this. But I will not allow you or anybody else to take truth out of the society. You might take Christianity off public platforms, but you will never be able to stop our purpose. <laughs> He still died for you. And he still loves you. You don't think I can take away your purpose? Are you still so confident? You don't understand, do you? When you pull this trigger, I know exactly where I'm going. And you? <laughs> you might get away with this. You might cover your tracks and go back feeling like you've accomplished something. But you know what? Come nightfall, when you hit your pillow, and all you have is silence. 
because your wife left you, because your kids left you, then, then you'll realize it doesn't even come close to the void you have when peace left you. I have that, and you don't. You see, for that, I'm willing to die for him and what he has done. What now? Now you have no power. I mean, not even your men are brave enough to fight for the scores you've got going on here. What if I pull this trigger? Where would you go? Are you really gonna allow one person's actions to hold you back? You deserve death, Lucas. And so do I. I felt grace. So can you. Michael! Is it not true that we all need grace? Does Romans 3 verse 23 not state that we all fall short of the glory of God, but that Jesus came so that we may have life? You see, it's this grace that changes us, that makes us new creatures. We have to shut the door to the past. It's over. Sometimes holding on to a past hurt can derail you from the future that God has for you. See, we all need grace. And we find it in Jesus. Don't allow the lies of the enemy to come creeping back in. We have the truth. You believe it. And you seal it in your heart. Sad images again. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. Would be bad for you.
We have just received word that Mr. Lucas Hunt has handed in his resignation as party leader, leaving the public with doubt as Honey, to the future of the Are you country. hearing this? Mr. Hunt gave no reason as to his resignation, but it is rumored that he had a change of heart. When I was younger, I used to go fishing with my dad, and he taught me, although commonly known as a fish, a red herring could also be used as a clue intended to mislead you. Yeah. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Michael, I was misled. But you showed me the truth, and I have shut the door to my past. Lucas. 